Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Sorry this video is a few days late, um, but I was busy trying to get stuff listed this week before my kids are off from spring break. My daughter should be home very soon, and then I'll have ten days of chaos. Um, but I had a really, really, really good weekend, um, which was surprising since the season just started, but I really, really lucked out. So, um... I went to an estate sale on Thursday and found a few things there. I'm going to have to swing you around here. That right there is one of those um, accordion like um, sewing boxes. That's full of old sewing stuff. I picked that up for 20 Uh it needs a couple screws, but other than that, it's in really good shape. And I got... I got one of these last year, but I kept it for myself. One of these art boxes that you can take your, you can put your canvases in here and take your stuff with you. Got that for five. Got a nice, really old Hallmark ornament. This is from 77. Um, I think they started in 76, but got the box. This was only a buck. Got some books, of course. These are two, I guess they're like collector's edition books. Wuthering Heights and um, Jane Eyre. But I got these for six and saw that they've been selling for, I can probably get around $30 for these. And then I got some other paper and ephemera type stuff. Um, got this paperback book, Vogue's Book of Smart Dressmaking. Paid a dollar, probably make about ten. Got a whole bunch of these vintage uh, greeting cards that I'm gonna do another video. It may not be till after spring break. Um, but I'll show everyone who's interested, I'll show you these in more detail. These are all from the 40s to early 50s, but they're beautiful. Sometimes these can sell pretty well. Um, they all are all written in, but it's so great because these, this couple who gave these cards to each other, you could just tell by reading them how much they loved each other. It was really sweet. So these are old Hallmark Easter cards. And some of these are really, really big. Like these. And they've got this satin with batting behind them. Like this one's really big. And she pressed like the flowers he gave her in the cards. Uh, I'm just like in love with this couple that gave these cards to each other. But my Yahoo girls wanted me to show those in more detail, so I will, I'll do that in another video for you guys. Um, what else did I get there? Oh, the last thing I got, and the lady thought I was crazy, was I got this old passport from 1936. And this is Joseph, I think. This is the husband who um, was part of the couple who owned the, um, who gave the cards to each other. But I've seen some of these sell, actually, for decent amounts of money. I saw another one from the 30s sell for, like, over $100. So I don't know. I paid 5 for it. We'll see what happens. Um, then the next day, I went to four garage sales, uh, or three garage sales and an estate sale. The first garage sale, I didn't think I'd find anything, but then I found this huge box of rock and block... Um, toys it's a building set and it's uh, radio control operated and there's probably about five hundred dollars worth of stuff in here for retail and I asked her how much she wanted and she told me 20 bucks so I brought it home because I think I can make at least a hundred maybe two hundred off of that and I can't show my son that I have that or he's gonna want to like build it and keep it but we have so much stuff in this house, we can't, don't have room for it. Um, 
Then the next sale I went to, got an old Bible. That was, you should charge me five for that, but hopefully I can make like 15 or 20. And um, the estate sale that I went to, all their stuff was pretty high priced, but I did find this gorgeous antique German Christmas card and it pops out like this. It's beautiful. And I paid five and the lady asked me where I got it from, the lady running the sale. And I said, I dug through a box in the garage. And she's like, well, you're a good digger. She goes, do you know how much that could be worth? And I said, well, that's why I'm buying it. She's like, well, I'll give it to you for five and you know I'm giving you a really good deal. I said, yeah, you are. Um, and another one, it was a little fancier than this, but just sold for, I think, 112 on eBay. I'm not thinking I'll make close to that, but... Still, it's, it's a really good deal for $5. So, that's the word for the week, people. Dig. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. When you go to an estate sale and you see things that are pricey, dig in the boxes in the garage or in the attic because sometimes you can find some really good stuff. Okay, finally, the last sale that I went to was a barn sale. They have it every year. All the proceeds go to charity. And I love this road. There are two barn sales on this road and I've lucked out every year at both of them. So when I went this year I found I found one of these phones, found one of these before. This was a dollar or two. I can probably make um, 15 or 20 on that. Then I just got this because it was cheap and I'd never seen anything like it before. It's um, it's a braille writing course. It has the braille alphabet. This is a braille slate, I think it is, with the um, the board that it fits onto. But there's two books here, the braille slate. All that was a dollar. So we'll have to see where that goes. I don't have any experience with braille slates. Um, got another huge Bible for a buck. I should be able to sell that for about 20. And got a little Waterford ornament from 1989. This one's only worth about 20. If I'd have found the one from 1982, um, which is the first in the series, it would have been about 150 bucks. But I found this one worth 20. But I paid five, so I will make a profit. Um, the first thing I found there was a Hewlett Packard scientific calculator for three dollars does work has the box the case the instructions everything so this is at least over a hundred dollars um, found another ornament this is Dom if anyone knows this company in France their stuff is um, very well known very well made and very expensive and I got this little turtle dove ornament for five bucks and on replacements.com, they're selling the same ornament with the box for $190. So, as you can see, I was jumping for joy by the time I got home and researched all this stuff. I mean, I researched some on my phone, but it was just a really good week. And then I found this, again, digging in a box. There's a box on top of it with Blackberry accessories like cases and adapters and things that you know you can pay 99 cents for on eBay and it said three dollars for everything Blackberry charger case etc well under it in this box was a Sirius stiletto to um, what is it whatever this thing is home and car satellite portable satellite radio so anyway this is probably a hundred to hundred fifty dollars with all the accessories and that does power on and work. And then finally, I was checking out all the teacups and stuff. They had a table up front that said $5 a piece. And usually they're not really worth too much. But I did manage to find three that were um, definitely worth the $5. This set is Christian Dior Renaissance pattern. This one's worth um, probably about $40. 
This one is hard to find in any information on. It's uh, a reproduction from the um, Metropolitan Museum of Art of this pattern by uh, Meissen and Haviland um, produced it. So I don't know, I'm hoping about $50 on that. And then finally this piece is from Reynaud Limoges, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Um, I don't speak French. But anyway, this pattern I found out um, is very rare and sought after and there's just this cup and saucer on replacements.com they want $95 for it. So good 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 weekend. Now if I can just get all this stuff listed and I can make a bunch of money hopefully. So that's it. Um, hopefully I'm going to come back with a couple of my craft videos because I haven't made those in a long time and <laughs> That's what this channel originally was supposed to be. So for all my crafty girls, um, look for another video for me. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a great holiday and I'll talk to you soon.